All right, and now the moment is here, and we're welcoming our guests here at Open Stage Rock and Roll Radio. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 네, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. How you guys doing? How 어떠세요? 한번 좀 인사 좀한 명씩 좀 해주시겠어요? 네. 아, 노래하고 있는 김내현입니다. 네, 반갑습니다. 대야 um, 김내현 on vocals. Um, who's next? 네, 기타 치고 있는 김진규입니다. 김진규 on guitar. 네, 베이스의 이민우입니다. 이민우 on the bass here and finally. 네, 드럼 치는 최민규입니다. 최민규 on the drums. All right. Um, we have a um, camera so we can see you stream. 여기 카메라 그 you stream streaming 다볼수 있어요, 라디오 아. 인터넷으로 한번. <웃음> Hello. <웃음> um, have you heard of our show and um, how do you feel about being with us today? 우리 프로그램 대 이야기를 들어본 적 있나요? 네. 제 <웃음> 최근에 러브 엑스트레로가 왔었잖아요. 네네네네. 그때 여기 한번 왔었다고 음흠. 되게 재밌었다고. 아, cool. 네. Um, I guess they heard us from the group Love X Stereo, who has been with us before, and um, they said it was a lot of fun. So they're looking forward for coming here. Um, you guys are also friends with Galaxy Express and Dead Buttons. They also appeared on our open stage previously. Um, did you tell them that you'd be with us today? Um, Galaxy Express and Dead Buttons do 이미 다녀왔는데요. 오늘 그분들이랑 친하시죠 그분들. 네, 친합니다. 네, 그뭐 이제 방송에 대한 얘기를 뭐 들은 건 없고. 네. 이제 저희 이번 주말 주말에 이제 갤럭시 익스프레스랑 지방에 투어를 돌거든요. 아 그래요? 네. 와 네. 재밌겠다. 어. Okay, so I'm um, mentioning that um, uh, Nehan he mentions that they are friends with Galaxy Express. They didn't talk too much about this show, but what is going to be cool about it with them is that they're going to be going on a kind of a concert, little concert tour with them in the this weekend coming this yeah, weekend, weekend. Yeah. so that sounds like a lot of fun um can you guys introduce your band in your music rock and roll radio 어떤 음악을 하는 밴드인지 직접 좀 소개 좀 부탁하겠습니다 네, 저희 이제 <웃음> 뭐 디스코를 기반으로 해서 네. 이렇게 신나는 리듬에 그 위에 되게 좀 나름의 사이키델릭한 uh-huh. 네. Okay, they have an interesting mix of music. Um, Nehan mentions, you know, they kind of have a disco bass and feel to it, and on top of that, a little bit of rock and psychedelic in that too. Of course, um, I'm sure a lot of our listeners are familiar with their music. They got a lot of great tunes. Um, still a very young band. Um, a lot of your songs are very upbeat and exciting. And uh, can you tell us what they convey? 신나는 노래들이 많은데요. 그 안에는 어떤 내용들이 담겨 있나요? 기본적으로 춤에 대한 얘기들이 좀 많고요. 음. 그다음에 사랑에 대한 음. 내용들이 좀 많이 네, 담겨 네. 있는 것 같습니다. Okay. Um, Jingyu on guitar, he mentions uh, a lot of the songs are based with the meaning of love and dance. But why dance? 왜 춤을 대한 내용을? 그러니까 저희 가사를 보시면은 네. 무조건 이제 신나서 신나서 춤을 춘다기보다는 이제 뭐 희노애락 그러니까 슬플 때도 춤을 추고 음. 기쁠 때도 춤을 추는 음. 그런 다양한 음악을 하고 싶어서 예. 댄스 약간 그 비타민이구나 그런 거. 네. <웃음> cool. Um, yeah, the dancing um, in the meaning of the songs and not just necessarily for having excitement and having a good time but also using dancing as a method to relieve, you know, sadness or some other kind of feelings that you may have. 춤잘 추세요? Do you guys dance well? 진규. <웃음> 아, 그래. 진규 <웃음> 좋아하셨나? 아, 진짜요? 클럽 다니세요? 클럽은 잘안 다니고요. <웃음> 집에서 혼자서. <웃음> <웃음> I guess Jingyo is a big dancer. They dance a lot. Um, he doesn't go to the clubs, but he, he dances home a lot by himself, which is pretty funny. Okay. Um, now your band is pretty young. You guys, uh, you know, kind of debuted in 2013. How did you guys start music in the first place? 다들 음악 어떻게 시작하신 거예요? 저 같은 경우에는 네. 원래 저도 춤을 좀 좋아하고 있었는데 음흠, 음흠. 민규가 드럼을 치는데 같이 합주를 하고 싶다고 음흠. 그렇게 저를 베이스를 알려줘서 아, 그, 그렇게 같이 하게 됐습니다. 그 네. 그때부터 배우신 거예요? 네. 네. 언제예요? 중학생 언제 때였어요. 아. 네. Okay, so first starting off, Minu and I guess uh, Mingyu were both friends, and uh, Mingyu 그때는 드럼 치신 거예요? 그때는? 예, 어때? 저도 그 외국 밴드 라이브 네. 영상을 보다가 네. 야, 정말 단순하게 드럼 치는 모습이 너무 멋있어서 네. 그때부터 
배우기 시작했고요. <웃음> okay, 네. so m i n g y o he started at a very young age in uh, junior high school, watching a lot of foreign bands on TV and thinking drum looked really cool. So he started out playing the drums himself. And with Minu, Minu liked dancing a lot. And then they just kind of got together and said, maybe we should start jamming and stuff. And m i n g y o introduced the bass <laughs> to uh, Minu. And that's how they started uh, picking up the bass and started playing music together. 그러면 그 다음에 what happened after that? 저는 저희 친형이 기타 치는 거에 너무 부러움을 느껴서 아, 네, 그래서 시작하게 됐어요. Okay, so um, Jingyu, his older brother was a guitarist, so he thought, wow, I'm a little jealous. I want to start playing myself and start playing the guitar. 그러면 이쪽 어떻게 만나 만나게 됐어요? How did you guys meet these guys? 저희가 이제 그 고등학생 때 네. 진규와 민규와 제가 음. 고등학교 이제 실험학과를 같이 나와서. 음흠. 이렇게 활동을 하고 있는 상황에서 YB 테크니션 일을 하게 됐었어요. 네네네. 그렇게 되면서 이제 내연이 같은 경우에도 저희가 이제 군대 갈때 음. 같이 합류를 하게 되고 oh, okay. 그래서 테크니션으로 이제 알게 된 사이입니다. I see. All right. So um, Mingyu, Minu, and Jingyu were um, all going to school together, and then you know all going to the same major at school. And eventually becoming technicians for the YB band for Yundo Yan band. Yeah, well, yeah. And technicians were mentioning that they were kind of, um, kind of roadies in the Western terminology, and they were taking care of their instruments and the gear for the band. And eventually, in the they met n e h y n in the army. 군대에서 만나신 거예요? 그 YB 형들이 하고 이 사람들이 YB 테크니션 하고 있다가. 네네. 이제 군대를 형들이 가니까 그 빈자리를 제가 들어왔어요. 아, 오케이, okay, 오케이. Okay. So when the three had to go to the army, n e h n kind of filled in for these guys, and um, I guess then the story goes on, and that's how they became good friends. Interesting. 그 테크니션 하시는 게 어떠셨어요? 그몇 살부터 하신 어릴 때 네, 고등학교 3학년 때부터 uh-huh. 같이 한 거예요. Wow, must have been exciting. Yeah. Uh, they were doing technicians for the YB band while they were in. High school, so third grade in high school. 되게 재밌었겠네요, 그때는. 네, 굉장히 좋은, 유명한, 네, 유명하고 네. 굉장히 좋은 악기들을 사용할 <웃음> 수 있어서 그때 써보지 못했던 악기. It was kind of interesting for them because, of course, being working with such a famous band as their uh, technicians and um, seeing a lot of wonderful instruments at that young age must have been pretty cool. Um, So, what is it like being musicians compared to being technicians? Technician을 하는 거랑 실제 내 음악을 하는 거랑 비교해 보면은 어때요? 그, 저는 개인적으로 그 YB 테크니션 할 때가 더 긴장이 많이 됐던 것 같아요. <웃음> 그러니까 이게 <웃음> 네. 지금 저는 뭐 이게 못 잘해도 내 책임이고 못해도 음, 내 책임인데 음, 음. 그때 이제 제가 못 실수하면은 이게 <웃음> 남한테 피해 가니까 네, 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 네. 굉장히 긴장을 많이 했었던 oh, 것 같아요. I see. 네. Okay. So n e h a n says um, working as a technician for well the YB band felt a little more pressure and nervousness. You know him as a musician himself doing his own thing. You know feels less pressure because it's all his and all his responsibility. But taking responsibility for a band and their gear and stuff like that. You know it's a little more pressure if he screws up. 다른 분들은요. 저는 이 멤버들 중에서 가장 좀 길게 활동을 했었는데 한 음. 8년 정도 했거든요. 아, 네. 8년 동안 뒤에서 이제 YB 연주하는 모습을 이제 서포트하면서 보게 되니까 네. 무대에 대한 갈망이 굉장히 커지더라고요. 음, 네. okay. So, Jingyu, I guess he had the most uh, experience working with the band as a technician, um, close to eight years, and with that, you know, saw a lot of things uh, behind stage and you know in the back of the stage and seeing a lot of those things kind of making him want to be more. Um, involved in what was going on. Um, let's take a quick song break. I'd like to hear a song, the new one called Nightmare. Can you tell us a little bit about this song? Could you rock and roll radio know the the you just hana to go shpun deo? Said one note, the nightmare to go shpun deo. Can you come solve me on Jim Hedges? Yes, eh? No, the young one in the Yejane man not done. Can you eat the tree? 악몽으로 나타나는 아. 네, 그런 상황을 좀 그려봤어요. Okay. 네. 그런 경험 혹시 있었셨나요? 네, 실제로 있었던 거예요. <웃음> <웃음> okay. uh, this song nightmare, the story of it, you know, a lot of uh, past um, experiences, not good ones actually, with a female lover, and um, those things becoming a nightmare eventually. And I asked Jingyu if he had 
this was a real life story and he says yes <laughs> it was so let's take a listen to this new one um, their new single uh, well from their new mini album or EP Rock and Roll Radio with Nightmare and we'll come back for more here at Open Stage All right, we just heard Nightmare from our guest here at Rock and Roll Radio here at Open Stage. Um, they have a new EP. It's titled Life is a Dream, We'll Wake Up and Scream. That's pretty cool, right? Um, 최근에 새 EP가 나오는데 반응은 어떠세요? 어, 굉장히 뜨겁습니다. 일단 들으신 분들은 They said there's no response yet, but uh, uh, a lot of people please listen to it. Um, 이, 그 EP 제목이 되게 좋아요. Life is a dream, we'll wake up and scream. 어떤 음반인지 소개 좀 해주세요. 그러니까 이, 이거는 요즘에 좀 다들 상황이 어려우니까 사람들 네. 사는 게좀 뭔가 악몽 같은 현실에서 살고 <웃음> 있는 게 아닌가. 뭐, 뭐 그런 의미를 좀 담은 예, 타이틀입니다. Yeah. Neon describes uh, lately, you know, everybody seems to be having um, a pretty a tough time around the world and in society and everything and uh, kind of like that life is being that dream and um, waking up and it's sometimes living a nightmare for real right now um, now I heard you know you produced this EP in Paris France can you tell us a little bit about that 이번에 프랑스 파리에서 작업을 했다고 들었어요 네 맞아요 네, 네. 맞습니다 네. 조금 저희가 네. 네. 올해 6월에 이제 네. 프랑스 미덴 페스티벌에 가게 됐어요. 음. 그래서 그때 마침 이제 프랑스 가서 프로듀서를 좀 만나서 같이 녹음을 했으면 아, 좋겠다고 생각하다가 네네. 이제 우연히 러브 엑스테레오 이제 작업실에 놀러 가서 데모를 들려주게 됐는데 아. 그때 마침 프로듀서를 소개를 받았어요. 아, 네. 아, 그래서 이제 녹음을 하게 됐습니다. Oh, cool. Okay, so um, they went for um, a show in Paris and doing some concerts, some shows there, and they met up with a producer. Um, and through Love Exterio, um, going to their um, rehearsal studio and playing a demo for them and the producers there, they got to collaborate and finally get to work with those producers. Producers, 누구신가요? 그 producer. Who are the producers? 그 예전에 Mojo라는 electronic 그 duo가 있었는데 네네네. 거기 출신의 이제 그 로망 로망 트란차르라는. Cool. Okay. So, uh, from a group called Electro Group called Mojo a long time ago, and one of the members, uh, Roman Tranchart, yeah. I guess, kind of was part of that, and uh, that's who they got to work with. How was working with a, a foreigner with a, or a Parisian or a French person on your album? 그 저희는 이제 그 전까지는 앨범을 다 저희가 그냥 프로듀싱 해서 yeah. 했었는데. 이제 프로듀서랑 처음 작업해 보는 거였는데 또 이게 또 장르적으로 장르가 이제 그분이 하던 음악이랑 저희 음악이랑 좀 비슷한 부분이 많아서 네. 좀 그런 부분에서 시너지가 많이 났던 것 같아요. 좀. Cool. Okay. So um, I mean up till now they've been producing all their records and their songs by themselves and um, being able to work with uh, this producer again Roman uh, was interesting. They both have kind of the similar musical taste, so the synergy was really good and it kind of gelled really well. Um, how did you guys communicate? 대화 어떻게 하셨어요? 근데 그분도 한국말 못 하실 거 아니에요? 다행히도 <웃음> 통역을 해주신 분이 아, 있었어요. 근데 아. 이제 저희가 만약 그분이 안 계셨다면은 굉장히 힘들었을 뻔했습니다. 몇 배의 녹음 시간이 필요했을지도 모르는데. 네. 네. <웃음> Okay, so fortunately they had someone there to translate for them, but um, when that person wasn't there, it was a really difficult time. Just take a chill, young, ah, heck in there, okay, off the then. Yeah, off the then, he said, I guess when the translator wasn't there, they uh, it was very quiet and they were just looking into each other's eyes, which was the situation. Um, are you happy with the product? Uh, 이번 작품 마음에 드세요? 생각했던 대로. 네, 네, 네. 생각했던 굉장히... 이상으로 나온 거예요. 아 그래요? 네. Okay, so um, they're really pretty pleased with the album that came out, and maybe even better than expected. 네, 이번 앨범에는 이제 사운드에 집중을 굉장히 많이 했기 때문에. 사운드 좋더라고요. 네, 그러니까, 네. 거기에 맞게 잘 나온 것 같아서 기분이 굉장히 좋습니다. Cool. Okay, I'm commenting. Uh, Mino comments on the sound of the album, overall sound, and uh, they spent a lot of time working on it sonically, and um, 
very pleased with the product and how it came out. And I must mention it, this album really sounds great. The mix, I mean, the bottom end and the drums and the bass especially sound really good on this record. Um, now, you've had a lot of concert overseas, and can you tell us which countries you've had concerts in? Have you ever done a lot of concerts in Korea? Where did you do a lot of concerts in Korea? I'll tell you a little bit about the country. I've been to France and Russia. Cool. Okay, so they had some concerts in the United States, France, and Russia. Can you tell us a little bit more about the concerts? What did you say about the concerts? What did you say about the concerts? When you go to Korea, the concerts of 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 the 저희가 이렇게 움직이고 뭐 퍼포먼스 하는 것 자체에 대해서 좀 되게 집중을 하는 게 있는데 그쪽 분들은 그냥 뭔가 음악 자체에 좀더 집중하는 음. 느낌을 많이 받아서 음. 또 한국은 좀 관람하는 문화라서 음. 예, 눈으로 보는 것 자체를 음. 좀 즐겨하시고요 음. 이제 좀 미국이나 유럽 거는 춤을 직접 추, 음. 추면서 노는 분위기를 더 좋아하시는 네, 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 네. 네. Okay, so a little bit of differences of the audience and experience. Uh, playing a concert in Korea and being overseas in the U.S., France, and Russia, as they mentioned. Um, Koreans, the audience seems to be more concentrated on the visual aspects of the concerts, uh, you know, focusing on the group. But um, overseas, the concerts that they held, you know, the fans or audience seem to have more been into the music itself and be able to dance by themselves listening to the music and not so much focused on the visual aspect of the band but more into the music which is seems to be that way um, do you have any memorable experiences at the concerts? 혹시 가장 인상적인 있던 곳이 있나요? 공연 저 같은 경우에는 이제 칸 프랑스 칸이 mm. 굉장히 인상적이었던 게 beautiful place right? 네. 칸 되게 이쁘죠 그렇죠? 저희가 공연한 곳이 이제 칸 영화제가 열리는 곳이기도 했고 아 그렇고 이제 그 공연장 주위가 이제 다 바다로 돼 있는데 음. 너무나 멋있었어요 네. 뷰가 그래서 그런 곳에서 이제 공연할 수 있다는 게 너무 영광스러웠고 네. 그리고 아름다운 분들이 너무 많았습니다. <웃음> <웃음> 좋겠다. <웃음> 네, 너무 좋습니다. Okay, um, for um, now for Minu, one of his memorable experiences were playing at Khan in um, the Khan Film Festival and playing for. Midem. Yeah, uh, the Midem Festival, I'm sorry, but that's where the Cannes Film, Fe- Film Festival is held in that city. And uh, looking at the ocean and the water and that whole experience, you know, just absorbing it all was, was a wonderful experience for him to remember. What about other people? Yeah, I'll talk about the album and the album. Ah, okay. All right, so... But the reaction is very good. Yeah, so Mingyu mentions that the new album cover... For life as a dream will wake up and scream. That picture itself was also taken in Khan, and uh, um, yeah. it's very relaxing looking at it. You definitely want to go to where they were at. Beautiful. Okay. Um, should we uh, go to a song right now, or what should we say? Can we hear "Feel Feel Me"? What yeah. kind of song is this? Um, we'll listen to another song. Rock and Roll Radio. Drink a single. Go. One more. To go. Ogesimida. Feel Me를 들어볼 건데요. 이 곡은 어떤 곡인가요? 그 <웃음> 이제 앨범 제목 그 Life Is a Dream, We'll Wake Up and Scream 이게 Feel Me 가사 중에 한 구절이거든요. <웃음> 그래서 되게 좀그 앨범 그 주제를 좀 제일 잘 이야기하고 있는. Okay. All right. So um, this is the first track of this new mini album. Um, again, along with the theme of uh, life is a dream, we'll wake up and scream about how life um, can be a little um, as a dream, a bad dream in a sense. You know, as we waking up and scream and feel me is kind of putting the real vibe of what this album is all about. So we'll check it out and we'll come back for more with Rock and Roll Radio here at Open Stage. Cool stuff right there. That was Feel Me, the new one from Rock and Roll Radio, today's guests. You know, one thing I really notice about their music and I like a lot, it's um, it's something that's not done too much here in Korea. You know, a lot of bands have a lot of synthesizers going. You know, Neon has a very unique voice. Rock and Roll Radio 하신 음악이 되게... 일단 대한민국에서 되게 
없는 음악인 것 같아요. 제, 아, 제가 보기에는 네, 감사합니다. 목소리 일단부터 그러니까 한국 가수들이 보통 되게 높게 네. 부른 스타일도 많고요. 그리고 기타 리프도 되게 공간 많이 하시는 것 같아요. 네. 할 때는 그리고 둘이 그 리듬 섹션이 되게 좋은 거 좋은 거 같아요. 아, 다른 감사합니다. 분들보다 굉장히 이런... 정확하게 <웃음> <웃음> 잘했죠. 네. 아, 네. 감사합니다. Um, I'm just mentioning because Neon has a very unique voice. You know, most Korean singers don't have that high pitched, high uh, timbre along with the guitar riffs that are going on. You know, nothing super complicated, but using just the right amount of space. And of course, the rhythm section with these two guys going uh, really is something special. Um, how about uh, you know? 어릴 때 무슨 음악 들으셨어요? What kind of music did you guys listen to when you were young? I mean, what is your influences? 그 아니 저 같은 경우는 일단 그 이게 원래 판테라 같은 <웃음> <웃음> 그런 거 좋아하고 네, 네. 네 그다 요즘에는 뭐 예전 신스팝 같은 디페시 모드 이런 거아 근데 그런 거좀좀 좀 느껴요. 네. 그러니까. 아, Neon mentions, you know, when he was younger, he listened to Pantera. If you don't know Pantera, <laughs> go on to YouTube and check them out. <laughs> so different from what you're hearing right now. And, um, of course, lately, um, you know, I kind of heard that. I wanted to mention that, actually. You know, Neon, uh, he listens to a lot of Depeche Mode. I loved Depeche Mode wow. when I was younger. Of course, uh, they're very historical band. They're a very um, legendary band, Depeche Mode. If you haven't checked them out, definitely do. How about you? Yeah. 저 같은 경우 제일 베이스를 배울 때 처음 들었던 음악이 제이락이었습니다. 제이락? 예, 일본. 비주얼락. 오케이. 엑세펜이나 루나시나 라라캉시에요. 그냥 그런, 연주 너무 잘하잖아요. 네, 그냥. 근데 그렇죠. 그 팀들이 다 베이스 라인들이 정말 좋고 음. 사운드적으로도 굉장히 좋아서 예. 했는데 일단 제가 지향하는 건 이제 비주얼락은 아니니까 <웃음> 화장을 할 수는 <순> 없어서 <웃음> 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 그러다가 이제 나중에는 이제 이 친구들 만나면서 이제 영국 이제 브리티시 음악에 좀 빠져서 오케이 okay, 오케이 okay. 네, Alright for uh, Minu now uh, when he first started playing bass he first started off with J-Rock um, maybe X Japan and those 루나시 yeah 루나시 yeah, <웃음> those rock bands from Japan which um, Excellent, excellent technicians. Very beautiful musicians, right? They have excellent bass lines and all that stuff. Um, he, I guess, started off listening to a lot of that. And with that, of course, if you've seen a lot of the J-Rock bands back then, you know, they have a, doing a lot of hairstyle, a lot of makeup, and the visual <laughs> aspect is very key to uh, J-Rock. But since he didn't want to do that, <laughs> he kind of stepped away from that. And of course, meeting the rest of the band, moving more on to uh, kind of British rock and that style. How about you? Yeah, 역시나 그... 민우 민우가 일본 음악 듣게 만든 것도 접니다. 아, 오케이. <웃음> 제가 제가 먼저 그거를 좋아하면서 <웃음> 네. 네, 베이스를 배우게 하고 네. 그리고 앉혀 놓고 맨날 그 비디오를 틀어 놓고 음. <웃음> 저렇게 좀해 봐라. 오케이. 네, 그랬던 게또 저고요. Cool. Okay. So for Mingyu, um, I guess responsible for Mino's uh, introduction to J-Rock. <laughs> and they would spend a lot of time on, he would suggest to um, Mino to uh, sit down and watch a lot of the Japanese J-Rock videos and said, why don't you try to do it like this? Um, you must have been a big influence on each other for, it must have been a lot of fun learning It must have been a lot of fun learning music together. And also drum and bass. Uh, 오랜 친구다 보니까 그쵸. 뭔가 좀 얘기하기도 편하고 음. 풀어나가기도 좋고 음. 여러 가지 장점이 있어요. 네. 네. Um, and you mentioned, yep, yeah, that's how they spent a lot of time as youngers, as uh, in their youth, uh, listening to a lot of music together. And of course, uh, for a lot of people that may not understand, but the relationship between the drums and the bass is such a key part in making pop music and rock and roll music, especially. And um, of course, they have to do a lot of communication. And for them being friends also helps a lot in doing that. Jingyu, Nim, what do you like? Do you like? I was always into YouTube, like, 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 Uh, incognito and Franz Ferdinand, a lot of uh, you know, classic or straightforward uh, British rock bands. He seemed to like a lot. Incognito is great too. I yeah. love them. Yeah. Um, 
Now, you've been making music for how long? 함께 음악하는 지 얼마나 된 거예요? 그러면은 지금 로큰롤 라디오로는 한 4년 정도 됐고요. 음. 네. Okay, so it's been about four years for you guys as a rock and roll radio, but of course, other members you've been together for a much longer time. Uh, Mingyu and uh, Minu have been together for how long? You guys known each other since 중학교 때부터 네. 초등학교부터 네. 네 초등학교 때부터 친구인데 네. 초등학교 네. 중학교 고등학교와 다 같은 학교 어, 네. 그, <웃음> 네. 그냥 형제네요 두 분. 심지어 대학교도 같이 들어갔다가 한달 만에 네. 자퇴를 같이 했는데 <웃음> <웃음> 자퇴를 동시에 같이 하러 가고요 okay. uh, 군대만 no. 같이 안 갔네요 okay. 네. The two of them have been known each other and been going to school going to the same schools ever since uh, elementary and uh, the only thing they haven't done together was go to the army together so they've been through school together um, and now they're in the same band doing everything together so far um, what about so you met these guys 언제 만나시, 만난 거예요? 그러면 진규 씨는 저는 이제 민규와 민우를 고등학교 때 만나서 okay. 네, 그때부터 같이 밴드를 okay. 네, 시작을 so 했죠 so they and 진규 started jamming with these guys uh, starting from high school uh, 내연 씨는요? When did you 저는 guys? 이제 형들 팀 하고 있고 네. 저는 다른 팀에 이렇게 하다가 아하. 이렇게 같이 하게 된 거는 이제 한 4년 정도 된 거죠. 저가 같이 하게 okay. 된 거. 오케이. 그래서 이거는 그 나중에 이렇게 YB 테크니션 네. 하고 나서 다 만난 네. 거 만나 이제 네. 네. YB 테크니션 할 때도 근데 그렇게 친한 편은 아니었어요. 네. 그러니까 진규와 내연이는 이제 잘 아는 사이였던 것 같은데 음. 저 같은 경우에는 잘 모르는 사이였는데 이제 밴드를 하면서 정확하게 알게 됐고요. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I guess Jungkyu and Neon first knew each other, um, not really close while they were all technicians at the uh, at the YB band, but Neon too also in a different band and eventually coming to working with Rock and Roll Radio. Any tough times? Or do you want jump up so say? 아무래도 제일 어려웠던 점은 이제 내연이가 이제 로컬라디오를 결성하기 전에 저희 셋은 고등학교 때부터 같은 밴드를 하고 있었거든요. Mm-hmm. 네 그러다가 중간에 저희가 이제 진규가 그때 당시 보컬이었습니다. 음흠. 그래가지고 저희가 안 되는 이유는 보컬 탓이다. 그래서 저희가 내보낸 적이 있어요. 음. 네. 해고를 당했죠. <웃음> <웃음> 그리고 나와서 이제 로클라디오 거의 한 2년 동안 연락을 안 하다가 아. 1년 반 정도. 예. 그다 다시 이제 결성을 하려고 하니까 굉장히 어려웠습니다. <웃음> okay. So originally this group uh, started off as a trio when Nehan wasn't part of the band, and uh, with that, um, Jingyu was playing guitar as well as being the main vocals. And uh, I guess they weren't agreeing on the vocal parts of it, so there were some tough times in um, this situation. So they kind of broke up for a couple of years, and uh, trying to make this band come back together uh, was a little difficult. 근데 드디어 이렇게 된 거죠. But you finally came back together. 근데 지금은 뭐 제일 저희 부모님들보다도 더잘 맞는 사이가 된것 같고, 네. 제일 많이 보는 사이라서. 네. 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 그래서 즐겁기도 하고 물론 싸울 때도 있거나 이럴 때도 있는데 그럴 때도 이제 아무래도 오래된 친구들이니까 되게 이제 금방 금방 풀려고 노력을 좀 많이 하는 편이에요. 네, 네, 네. 서로 맞춰가려고. 네. 오케이. Um, these guys, you know, s- probably have a better relationship with each other than they do <laughs> with their parents, as they mentioned, and uh, they see their faces all the time. Of course, you know, st- there still are times when they do fight a bit, but um, it's uh, easy to get over those things as they are such good friends. Um, so, I mean, as a band, what goals did you set when you formed together? Bandler, 하면서 처음에 세웠던 목표 같은 게 있었어요? 그러면 그 뒤에서? 그 일단은 저희는 늘 하는 얘기가 어, 이렇게 오래 갈수 있는 그러니까 밴드 이, 이 멤버로 오래 가자 음. 최우선 쉽지 않은데요. 네, 네. 네, 그게 가장 어려운 것 같아요. 네. 그러니까. 그 오래 하는 데는 이유가 있을 거라고 생각을 음, 해서 네. 네. 그게 목표가 아닌가라는 음. 생각을 하고 있습니다. Okay, well, um, very um, interesting comment. Well, good answer, I think, for as a band. Their their um, intention or their goal as a band was to be a band that stayed together for a long time. I mean, not necessarily for a word. 무슨 뭐상 받고 싶은 것도 아니고 그냥 오랫동안 밴드 할수 있게 네. 목표였구나. 네. 서로 건강하게. That's nice. 네. 오래 하는 게. You know, not searching for awards or recognition as a band, but seeing how as a band they could go on for a long time and be healthy, which is great. Okay, um, we're just about out of time, so um, uh, we're going to have to wrap this up. I want to listen to one more song before, as we close, called One Week. Can you tell us about this song? 마지막 곡으로 One Week라는 곡을 들어볼게요. 어떤 곡인지 소개 좀 해주세요. 
이건 이제 저희 일집에 있는 타이틀인데. 네. 어 곡도 그, 많네요 일집이 열네 열네 개. 중에 타이틀인데 거기서 이제 음 그러니까 해, 연인 그 애인이랑 헤어지고 음흠. 그러고 나서 일주일을 뭔가 okay. 이야기하는 그런. So 노래입니다. this one week uh, again for their title from their first album Shut Up and Dance. This was released in 2013. Um, a lot of tracks on this, 14 tracks, and this is the title titled One Week, referring to the one week after a breakup. With a lover, rock and roll radio. I had a great time today. Thank you so much for coming to the show. 너무 오셔서 너무 감사하고요. 즐거웠어요. 예, 감사합니다. 조만간에 또 다시 만나. 공연 소식. 일단 they're going to be doing some concerts this weekend with Galaxy Express, and I'm sure there's a lot coming up for them. So check out their Facebook. Yeah. Or their, well, their homepage you can find on SNS. So, again, let's say goodbye to Rock and Roll Radio, and uh, we'll see you next time. And we're going to finish up with their track "One Week" from their first album. See you guys later. Yeah, see 감사합니다. you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다.